season openers tonight. Uh, yep. Do you get excited? LeBron was saying six, 16 years in, he still loves this night. Yeah, I'm super excited. You know, I think October is always the best month. You know, the NBA starting. No, baseball is going to the World Series, football is going, so um, I'm super excited. No doubt it's the best time of year, but you don't play till Thursday. Is there a little bit of uh, anxiousness, at least on your part? Um, yes and no. Uh, anxious because I want to play, but two, I know that you know, we still got more work to do um, to get ready, uh, more preparation, so um, that's a little bit good and bad. So. What's different for you? I'm sure there's a number of things going into this year's opener compared to last year. Um, you know, I'm more confident. You know, I, I've been there. Uh, I kind of went through a whole NBA season, and I kind of know what to expect. And um, you know, I'm not going to be too nervous like I was last year uh, over the night. So I think uh, you know, that's the difference. You know, Luke had mentioned that you literally sent him clips via text, defensively of stuff late at night, saying, "What, what, what should I do here? What does this look like? Is that is that true? Does that you still do that kind of stuff with him?" Oh uh, yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, I, you know, I just want to get better. Uh, you know, always trying to watch film, um, whether that's sending clips to him, Rondo. Brown, whoever, um, you know, just trying to learn and get better. So Yeah, Rondo had mentioned that he has never seen a young group of guys, meaning you four young guys that are with this Laker team, yeah. kind of so focused and, 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 and committed to the craft watching film. Do you feel that way as well? Um, yeah, not only just us, but everybody. You know, um, when we're on team planes, everybody's watching film after games or, you know, flying to the next city. So, um, you know, I haven't been around the NBA long, but, you know, Rondo says that's a pretty, you know, rare thing to find. So. Um, it's definitely a good thing. It's going to help our learning curve. Are you excited for that challenge on Thursday night, especially if you have to play that small ball five on the defensive end? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm always ready for a challenge. Um, you know, been working, you know, all preseason at it. And, you know, I eventually got better and better as the preseason progressed with it. So, um, you know, I'm excited. What, what's been the biggest adjustment with it? <clears throat> um, you know, just talking on defense. Um, you know, the physicality, banging with guys. You know. Um, it's a little bit different, you know. There's not going to be you're not playing a Jokic every night or uh, Embiid every night. You know? Not that, not that many good bigs on a daily night. So um, it's going to get easier, but you know, it's definitely still a challenge. Who's your like uh, league pass team? Is there is there a team that you're excited to watch just in general when, when you have the night off? Um, is there a team? I would say a team. You know, I watch. You know, I watch. You know, people. You know, I like watching Donovan Mitchell, one of my friends. So um, you know, checking him out. And, no, I like how they play. So, have you watched the schedule? Have you seen the schedule for tonight? Do you have, do you have a game circled already that you, you want to watch? Um, the Pelicans play, right? Um, Is it the Pelicans? OKC Warriors. OKC Warriors. Warriors. Philly Boston. There you go. Oh, Philly Boston. There you go. Philly Boston. Yeah, probably that game. And Dodgers. And Dodgers. I'll watch the Dodgers game actually. <laughs> I'm gonna watch them. You put a lot of time and effort into improving defensively. Where do you feel? Where do you feel that most on the court? And what are the next steps for you defensively? Uh, my on-ball defense, you know, I think, um, you know, I do, I did a better job this preseason not getting blown by, um, you know, moving my feet, um, you know, I think that's the, you know, the biggest area, you know, not so many guys are really getting past me, you know, across the board with position. So, uh, next step is, you know, just uh, learn that five position and, um, you know, getting better at that, so. You mentioned there's still some preparation for Thursday. What kind of specific things are you, like, you know, holding together? Uh, for myself yeah, for the team. And the team. Uh, for the team, just to, you know, remain consistent, you know, keeping, you know, good habits up. You know, some days, you know, we have great habits, and some days we kind of, like, you know, forget about them a little bit. But um, that's one thing. And for me, it's just to, you know, stay consistent in my work ethic, um, you know, being in the weight room and being on the court every single day. You know, that's um, the biggest thing that kind of matters because it's, it's a long season. So. Uh, Ronald was telling us this Uh, it wasn't like that, but I know what you mean, you know, yeah. Was, was, was everyone's, like, what was it like? Uh, I mean, it wasn't like a Mufasa moment. You know, <laughs> it definitely wasn't like that. Um, wasn't no kumbaya, but, um, no, he just pointed out something in the film, and, um, you know, everybody was just listening to him talk, you know. Um, so you weren't, like, physically crowded? Around. No, it wasn't like uh, a tribe, no, 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 but... You know, we got we got his attention when he talks about films. So. Um, yeah. Claims that you guys, you guys, I was like, do, do the young guys like come and ask you and LeBron about? That's why I asked Rondo, and he was like, well, they don't listen to me, they listen when LeBron speaks. That um, <laughs> I mean, everybody listens, but I listen to Rondo a lot. You know, I'm always talking to him. I'm always sending him clips and you know, 
you know, me and him talk after games about, you know, what we see and whatnot. So, um, at least I listen to him. I don't know about everybody else, but, um, you know, they're great vets. You know, they're, they're, they're people that we can talk to and, you know, they're, they're here to lend a hand, so. How much did you miss that? Um, you know, I don't want to throw the guys we had under the bus last year, um, but, you know, they're vets too. It's just, you know, just a different type of level, you know. You know, with LeBron and Rondo, those guys are, you know, two of the smartest guys of all time, you know, playing the game of basketball. And, you know, their precision to preparation is, you know, different than 95% of the NBA. So, um, you know, that's the difference. We're starting to get to know JaVale a little bit. Yeah. But it seems like guys love him. Has he been helpful? Uh, he has. You know, um, one thing I didn't know about JaVale was, you know, he's actually a student of the game. Like, you, know, you, you see the Shaq in the full, you see everything like that. But um, he actually knows basketball. And, you know, he, he's always watching film. And, you know, you can talk to him on the court. You can just tell how he talks and, you know, how he screens you that he knows what he's doing. And, uh, you know, he's, he's really smart. So. Yeah, the Warriors said the same thing. And, you know, as fans or media, you just don't get to see that. Yeah, you That's just you just don't see that. You just see, you know, what, what you want to see and what, you know, fans want to see. But, you know, he's, he's very smart on, uh, you know, basketball IQ side. Do you see Luke? Uh, just the film room. Um, you know, for me, last year I didn't really watch film like that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure all the other young guys necessarily didn't. And you know, that's one thing that's really helped me out. Um, you know, game to game within preseason and um, overall defensively, trying to learn rotations and whatnot. You know, I remember last year, you know, being lost a lot on um, defensive end, but um, you know, the film just you know kind of cures all that up. And you know, that's one thing I learned from those guys. Do you see Luke? making huge tweaks to his style based on you know the different vets this year is is he kind of the same coach that you had, you had last year um yeah he's the same coach i mean you know we run up and down the floor pace and space um you know if you watch lebron and rondo you know those guys you know predominantly had the ball the whole time and you know just passed it at shooters and uh played slow and you know we still want to play fast and you know we've done that all preseason and um, you know, I don't see that kind of slowing down, so.